What's up y'all, so we received a dual suspension all-terrain folding bike with a 52 volt 15 amp hour battery. I've never had a 52 volt battery on an e-bike before. The highest I've had is 48 volts. It's advertised to go 55 miles per charge, but I would assume it can go farther than that. So the bike that we received is a Walk Key uh, Star Run S20. This bike is advertised to go 28 miles per hour. It has a 750 watt motor with a 1200 watt peak. Don't know how much this bike weighs, but the net weight of this box is um, 82 pounds. Maximum weight of the rider is like 280 pounds. 82 pounds is heavy for a and, folding and, bike. And, and it's only 280 pounds that it can hold? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so what we're going to do is unbox this, put it together, go through all of the features. Then we're going to go on-road. We're going to go off-road because it has off-road tires. And we're going to try to fold this up, put it in my back seat, go to a more urban area, see what that's like too, so. It was stupid. So imagine, imagine having a... So this is what the bike looks like, fresh out the box. Looks like they did apply an appropriate amount of wrapping on the bike so it doesn't look like anything will likely be damaged. I do wish they did more to protect the front wheel. Now why would they put the crank wheel arm next to the wheel like that? This is what the bike looks like out of the wrapping. Uh, doesn't look like anything was chipped or damaged. So, so it looks like we're going to have to put our 20 by 4 all-terrain CST BFT front wheel on and I do have CST BFT tires on some of my other e-bikes uh, very grippy tire I do think the Chow Yang tire is a little bit more durable but looks like we're gonna have to put our handlebar on which is attached via wire we're gonna have to put our front fender on we're gonna have to put our headlight on the bike also came with a box it looks like the box is already kind of open so the box came with our user's manual not really seeing any step-by-step -step instructions um, regarding the installation so I'm assuming that they have instructions online also came with a tool set box also came with our pedals which are labeled i believe this box has our battery charger in it first thing we're going to do is put this front wheel on so we have two washers on the uh on your wheel and i believe our front fork is going to go in between those two washers on the other side we're going to do metal buffer here then we're going to put our front fork here and then uh the two washers are going to go outside the front fork as well as the nut. So I'm going to put the washer with this lock at the end of it. I'm going to put that washer on here first. Then I'm going to put the other washer on. So this bike wheel axle seems like it's a bit too narrow to use both of those washers. So we're just going to use the washer with the lock on the other side. On the left side of the bike where my disc brake is, I did take the extra washer and put it on the other side of the front fork there. So to put the headlight and front fender on, I'm gonna take my screw with the washer, put that in the front here. I'm gonna put my headlight in between this front fender and the front fork, put my headlight there, and then I'm gonna put a nut at the end to screw everything in place. We're going to go ahead and put this handlebar on and uh, it does go in there a specific way. You just follow this guider here and uh, put that in a slot there for that guider. And we just um, shove that in and then we can unfold our handlebar there and then put this clamp on. So we got this bike put together, it took us about 30 minutes. Loving the wheels, um, again the CST BSC tires are my second favorite 
tires on e-bikes period and uh, this is an interesting body type I think they curb the body like that because the battery is so big and that way you can now uh, have more battery without having a longer bike and speaking of the bike size it's only about five feet seven inches from wheel to wheel um, the seat at its lowest point is two feet nine inches from the floor and the handlebar at its lowest point is about four feet one inches off the floor so the handlebar is pretty tall look at that suspension I've had this suspension on uh, several other e-bikes it almost always delivers but of course we'll test it out give y'all an idea of the rear suspension looks like we have adjustable suspension in the front so if you want to lock out your suspension let's say you're on a flat surface turn it this way if you want more suspension then you turn it that way give y'all an idea of the front suspension get a look at our rear and front hydraulic disc brakes and it looks like more and more e-bike companies are making it easy for you to replace your hydraulic brake fluid nice wide rear rack on the back of the bike here um, rear rack like this usually can hold up to 60 pounds this rear rack is about eight inches wide handlebar width pretty standard for a folding bike about one feet 11 inches Looks like we have your standard Shimano gear shifter. We have seven gears. Nice grippy handlebars. Go ahead and turn our bike on. We're going to press and hold the power button. But apparently to turn your bike on, we have to uh, try to fold the bike, open it up a bit. Then there's a switch on the inside that you have to turn on. Then you can turn your bike on. Okay, nice uh, anti-theft feature there. Looks like we do have a horn. Okay, kind of loud. So to turn our headlight on, we have two buttons on the side of your panel here. The panel, the button at the bottom of that. Now my headlight is on and my rear light is on. Now if we hit the top of the side of this panel here, we get more uh, information on your display. Uh, you can see your odometer, your max speed, your average speed. We do have a thumb throttle, which I hate. I hate this. This is probably the most delicate thumb throttle that I've ever had on an e-bike before. Matter of fact, I think it broke now. <laughs> so I'll be uh, reaching out to the company, let them know the thumb throttle was damaged. And uh, let's see how quick they will send me a new thumb throttle. But we do have a thumb throttle. That's what um, that's for. Again, this bike does fold, so you can bring down the handlebar, clamp that in place. And then on the side of the handlebar, you move this up. And you can uh, unclamp that, fold your handlebar. And then to fold the body, you push this up. You can unclamp that and you can fold your bike like this and that's what the bike looks like when it's folded so to go into the advanced settings you press and hold the plus and the minus button and then you enter a password of one so i hit the plus button hit this button at the top here to go to my next uh position three one three and before we go into the advanced settings the company usually don't like you going into these advanced settings because they don't want you to make a setting change that will uh, glitch your bike or even burn out your control box so i'm only going to go through two settings here uh 06p is your limit speed so you can click this button at the top to make sure that you're going as fast as you can so look like the fastest you can go is 51 kilometers hit it again uh you can change your pedal assist sensitivity uh by pressing up and down here so I'm going to keep it at a 2 and uh, that's all I'm going to go through regarding the advanced setting. Alright so we are about to try the different pedal assist mode starting with mode 1. So let's see how fast we going. Uh, oh that pedal assist kicked off right away. Dang! And um, I don't think I have the pedal assist, pedal assist sensitivity up to high. So uh, okay. But um, so this says 16. This says 15, but this is a little delayed. So I'll go with this um, 15 miles per hour mode one. Let's try these brakes. Okay, decent brake, but in mode one. So we're not gonna switch it to mode three. Again, don't know if y'all can see it. Uh, the screen is really dark. I don't know if you can adjust the brightness of it, but we're going to go in uh, mode three. And uh, by default, get a lot of pedal assist sensitivity it looks like uh, but yeah that's 21 so 21 miles per hour mode three we're now going to switch it to mode five see how fast we go mode five here Like we 
got up to 28 here. This said 25, but this is uh, a little delayed right now. So, so we're now about to try throttle only. So we're gonna use this throttle. And uh, it took them about 10 days, 10, 10, 11 days for me to get my new throttle. So that's, that's kind of long, but uh, this is a very standard throttle. Like you can get this off Amazon, um, AliExpress. So I guess that's the good thing about it. Let's see how fast we go using this thumb throttle. Thumb throttle here. Got up to 27 here. This is a little delayed again, so 27 miles per hour. What you think of that suspension? <laughs> you don't know. That was me. Just in case y'all were wondering, it was actually me. I don't have a stun double. Yes, I do all my own tricks. <laughs> so, Star Run S20, um, what are your thoughts? I like this bike. I, um,. I'm not a fan of the colors, but that's just you don't like the color. <laughs> but what I do like about this bike is the display. It's like a colorful display. Mm -hmm. The the um, miles per hour show big mm -hmm. on here. Mm -hmm. The brakes are really good. I feel like it doesn't it doesn't really jerk jerk you yeah like that. So I like the the constant gradual gradual speed like that. Um, the the seat is not bad. Okay, seat ain't bad. I, I actually give y'all like a nine just on the seat. Okay, okay. So the seat is pretty good. I feel like the the tires and the suspension, they handle the, the off-road stuff. They handle it okay. okay. It could be a little better. Suspension could be better. Yeah, and I would think that the suspension would be great because it's got this like little souped up thing looking here. Yeah. But it could be better. So what would you give this on a scale from one to 10? I'm gonna give this one. Uh, 8.8. 8.8. Yeah. Right. About to get our point of view shots in. We're gonna start by doing some uh, off-road riding because we do have off-road tires, all-terrain tires, and these are Shao Yang tires. So, pretty sure this test is gonna go well going on gravel here. And uh, perfect weather today. I think it's well look cool, like 70 degrees. But uh, yeah. Doing great on gravel. I don't feel nothing. <laughs> don't feel a whole lot of slipping with the tires, but uh, that's to be expected with Chow Yang tires. So we're gonna go through some grass. And, uh, let's see how smooth this is. Let's test out the suspension and such. Go through here. Man, that's actually really smooth. <laughs> Better than I thought it would be, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. I wouldn't say it's the best suspension, but it's up there. Uh, from a folding bike standpoint, let's try it out again later. Now, one thing about the Chow Yang tires, because they are so grippy, you can do a considerable amount of leaning uh, on your bike. Like, it does allow for you to do leans without you worrying about falling. But, because this handlebar is pretty standard for a folding bike, so it's not super wide, I would just say be careful when uh, leaning on this bike because you are on such a your uh, handlebar is on such a swivel you can be leaning and your handlebar can easily spin out okay let's do some uh more off-road riding here 
Yeah, this is in this off-road ride got healed, so man, okay. Not bad. I wouldn't say this was the best suspension, but it's pretty good. Um Yeah, I've had better, but it's not bad at all. Okay. Number one, it is uh, pretty comfortable. I think because it's such a big bike, you do have a sense of stability because the bike is so big. But number two, by default, and the pedal assist is adjustable, but by default, this thing sends you flying <laughs> when you start your pedal assist. Uh, I'm gonna give you all an example. I'm in mode three, right? And I'm gonna start pedaling, watch this. Like as soon as I, <laughs> like as soon as I uh, pedal, it, it sends you. But your pedal assist is um, adjustable, so that's good. So, Star Run S20 uh, for the price, uh, this is one of the cheapest dual suspension folding bikes that I reviewed on the channel. For the price, I think you're getting a decent bike. Um, I like the speed and I like the battery life. Um, I went on like 11 mile bike ride and that 11 miles um, I lost one out of four battery bars and uh, I was mainly in mode like four um, so I think that's more like 50 miles per charge which is pretty decent and this being a larger bike does make the ride a little bit more stable but uh, this being a larger bike does make it harder to uh, transport but I was able to put this bike in my um, mid-sized car in the back seat but it took up the whole back seat I do wish the handlebar went down more to accommodate shorter riders it's fine for me and I wish we had a better thumb throttle. I don't like the uh, thumb throttle that they gave us on this bike. But yes, I think this is a solid bike, especially for that price so on a scale from one to 10. I would give this bike an 8.5. So comment below what you would give this bike on a scale from one to 10. Any other e-bikes you want me to review, also comment below. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.